Good evening, everyone. All right, we can do better than that. Good evening, everyone. All right, I realize that we still have people still kind of coming in, and please take your time doing that, but we're going to go ahead and get started tonight. My name is Shane Orr. I am the very, very proud principal of Central Gwinnett High School, and I'm also going to serve as the principal for the School of the Arts at Central Gwinnett. So it is my absolute pleasure uh, to welcome you all to our very, very first event together as School of the Arts faculty and students and parents and staff. So I, I think that deserves a round of applause as well. So as I was reflecting on what I should say uh, to everyone tonight, I couldn't help but reflect on the journey that we've had with uh, the School of the Arts up to this point. So when Superintendent Wilbanks called me to his office over uh, two years ago and let me know what was going to happen uh, on the campus of Central Gwinnett, I remember him saying uh, a couple of things that were very distinct and memorable to me. He said that this was going to be something that was state-of-the-art and unlike anything that exists anywhere. So I admit that I'm, when I walked out of that office, I had a pretty high degree of anxiety thinking about that as the principal of the school. But I also admit that I walked out of that office with an enormous amount of excitement and realization of what was about to happen at my school. And I say my school because not only am I the principal there, I, I graduated from Central Gwinnett. And this is a, a place that's very special uh, to me and my family. So from that meeting with Mr. Wilbanks to this point now, we have visited fine arts schools locally, regionally, and nationally, and we visited a couple of them several times. And we needed to do our research if we were going to meet that expectation. We asked a lot of questions. We had a lot of meetings. We debated and discussed the minute details of everything associated with this school. We got off track at times, and we refocused, and we continued to put the student experience at the forefront and we continued to reflect on what Mr. Wilbank said, that this was going to be something state-of-the-art and something that doesn't exist anywhere else. So we believe that this is what you're going to experience in the fall when the School of the Arts at Central Gwinnett opens. So tonight is an opportunity to generate excitement amongst the students and the parents and our new faculty. Many of them are just meeting each other for the very first time. Tonight is a night for you to feel that very first connection to your new home. Tonight is a night to say goodbye to your old school colors and those old mascots and embrace and wear proudly that beautiful black and gold with a splash of vibrant red that the School of the Arts has brought to our school. And it is also a night of thanks. So I would first like to thank Mayor David Still and the city of Lawrenceville for their support of Central Gwinnett High School for over 64 years and the city's contribution to the construction of the School of the Arts. The School of the Arts could not have happened without the support and generosity of the city and Mayor David Still. So with that, please welcome Mayor Still to the mic. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. We're uh, so excited to be here, and I uh, want to make sure to introduce our council that is present. We have uh, Council Member Keith Roche, uh, if you could raise your hand, Council Member Victoria Jones, Council Member Glenn Martin. We do not have right now Council Member Bob Clark, but they were all great um, to work with the um, Board of Education in, in creating this. We also have the co-founders of the Aurora Theater here, Anthony Rodriguez and Ann Carol Pence, and they've been great advisors to uh, Mr. Orr and others, and we're grateful of that. So we can take you, the goal is to take you in arts from the cradle to the professional level, and that's what Lawrenceville brings. And so just want to um, say thank you to the Board of Education and the staff of the Gwinnett County Public Schools for working to build community in Lawrenceville and Gwinnett by being committed to creating this School of the Arts SOTA at Central Gwinnett High School. 
I want you all to know the city of Lawrenceville is the only municipality that we are aware of that has committed millions of dollars into a board of education project. That's the first time that we're aware of any of that ever happening. Being a statesman, it's around five million. I won't say it's 10, 20, or 30 million. So the city of Lawrenceville, um, we would like to say the only way you can build a healthy community is to work together. And the Board of Education and the staff and the city of Lawrenceville and its staff is by working together has created this um, beautiful project that's going to really make our community very healthy. I would also like to point out uh, Chuck Warburton, our city manager. Uh, he is here also. Chuck, could you raise your hand? And he's been a big, uh, uh, a big part of all this as well. This all started around 2014. So um, it's, it's just great to see it to, to happen. And I will say, um, as an alumni of Central Gwinnett High School, I'm very happy that this is happening, very grateful to be a part of it. And I will say, I'm not going to be ashamed to say, I'm the graduating class of 1979. <laughs> so before we move on with the show, I want to make sure I take this opportunity to recognize some other key people in attendance here tonight. I know that I think Angela Harris from Dance Canvas was here. Uh, I know Ann Carol Pence and Anthony Rodriguez were, were mentioned by Mayor Still, and uh, Teresa Winterhalter from GGC is here as well. Um, and I also want to take this opportunity to recognize uh, Mr. David Dubose, the Director of uh, Fine Arts for Gwinnett County Public Schools, if you'll raise your hand, David. And also um, Miss Nancy Martin, who was a former principal of Central Gwinnett High School, but now serves as the Executive Director of Program Development for Gwinnett County Public Schools. I can tell you she's been a tremendous help in, in guiding me, um, a rookie principal, in opening a new school through this process. So I appreciate all your help and support, Ms. Martin, for that. So students, uh, pretty soon we will, uh, we will all be in the audience watching you perform and attending your art exhibits. But for tonight, we're here to entertain you. We're going to get started by bringing out a special guest performer. You may know her from her, appearance, uh, her appearances last year on America's Got Talent, where she was a semifinalist. And now it's my pleasure to introduce her as a, she's a new teacher at Central Gwinnett High School and working in both our math department and assisting with the School of the Arts. So here to perform The Chain by Fleetwood Mac is Miss Shakira McGrath. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Awesome, awesome. I am so excited to be here, so excited to see something like this coming into fruition. This is definitely something that I would have loved to have when I was in school, which I would like to think was not that long ago. I'll just, I'll keep that in my mind. But for now, um, I'm just going to sing The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. I like to take music and kind of take a different take on it. We like to sing everyone else's songs, but sometimes you can kind of hone in and, and make it something different, make it your own. So whenever you're ready. Listen to the wind blow as the sun rises. Mm -hmm. Running in the shadows, forget your love, forget your life. And if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear you saying, you will never break the chain. And if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear you saying, you will never break the chain.
That was amazing. Thank you, Shakira. So uh, now that we've all gathered here today, let, let's do what we came here to do, and that's to introduce the School of the Arts faculty. So we're going to start with our art and design teachers, and several have brought some artwork to display. We hope that you get a chance to check that out at the end of the program, and we'll be giving away these beautiful centerpieces made by one of our new art teachers. So let's bring out the art and design faculty. So teachers, come on over. All right, so we have Mr. Renato Ferreira. He's coming to us from Columbus, Georgia, where he's been teaching at Rainey McCullers School of the Arts. He earned his BFA in photography and in art education from UGA. Go dogs! Mr. Ferreira is not only an art teacher, but also a working artist, having displayed pieces in exhibitions at the Columbus Museum of Art, Atlanta High Museum of Art, and the Linden's House um, Annual Juried Exhibition, where he was awarded the L. David Dwindle Photography Award. All right. We have Miss Elizabeth Lovin. She's also coming to us from the Rainey McCullers School of the Arts in Columbus. She earned her BFA in art education and master's from the University of Georgia, and her specialist in curriculum and instruction at Valdosta State University, drawing, printmaking, and woodworking, are her media of choice. We also have Miss Allison Kruiskamp. She is a potter and a folk artist. Her functional pottery received commissions internationally and by local organizations including the University of Georgia, the CDC, the Atlanta Community Farmers Markets. She's earned her BAS in studio pottery and her Masters of Arts in Art Education from Piedmont College. So we welcome you, Allison. And also, Mr. Jason Collier. Jason is a visual arts educator with 25 years of experience at Central Gwinnett High School. And in his career in Gwinnett County Public Schools, he has taught visual art, composition one and two, 2D design, 3D design, drawing and painting, fine arts survey, graphic design, photography, digital ph photography, and more, if there are more classes. Absolutely. So thank you, Arts Department. We appreciate you. And now we'll introduce to you the dance team. So first we have Mr. Lonnie Davis. Lonnie is a very highly sought after dance educator and choreographer. Some engagements include serving as faculty, guest teacher, and choreographer for the International Association of Blacks in Dance Conference, Alabama Dance Festival, Emory University, Kennesaw State University, Pure Performance Sydney, Australia, Dance Canvas Atlanta, Agnes Scott College, Georgia Ballet, and much more. So welcome, Mr. Davis. Thank you. We also have with us Miss Autumn Ekman, who graduated from the Houston Ballet Academy. She's coming to us all the way from the University of Arizona Dance Department. Autumn has worked with dance companies and projects all over the country, including, including Giordano Dance Chicago, where she also served as assistant artistic director. I'm sure I butchered the name of that school. I apologize. We can't wait for you guys to work with these dancers, and we look forward to bringing uh, in even more adjunct professional dance faculty and teaching artists as we move through the school year. So thank you, dance team. We appreciate it. 
So next up, our vocal music team, and you already met Ms. Shakira McGrath, who will be assisting in the vocal music department, and here's the rest of the team. Michelle Green has been the choral director at Grayson High School for the past 11 years, where she was recently named the 2020 Teacher of the Year and went on to become a top 25 semifinalist for the Gwinnett County Teacher of the Year. Her students have been selected to participate in all state chorus, got to sing with the famous rock band Foreigner at Verizon Wireless Amphitheater, performed in Nashville, New York City, Disney World, and participated in master classes with the Chicago cast of Hamilton, and with Jody Benson, the voice of Ariel from Disney's The Little Mermaid. We also have Mr. Andrew Graham, who is currently pursuing a Doctor of Musical Arts degree from Boston University. He has taught chorus, musical theater, piano, and AP music theory. He has taught at Moth Music, Sunrise School for Fine Arts, and the Rankin Arts. He has also performed with the New York Empire Brass, Atlanta Baroque or Orchestra, and the Columbus Symphony. And next, we have Carol Taylor. And she earned her Doctor of Music, Musical Arts degree in choral conducting, vocal performance, and vocal pedagogy from the University of Georgia. She taught grades 1 through 12 in Georgia's DeKalb and Clayton counties and in Gwinnett County. Dr. Taylor taught at Duluth Middle School, Meadow Creek High School, Mill Creek High School, and Mountain View High School. Dr. Taylor has worked as a university supervisor in music with Georgia Southern University since 2016. And Dr. Taylor is also an actor and voiceover artist. So at this time, our, uh, our new... Our new voice department are going to sing for you. So I'm going to back away. Hey, guys, we're going to be singing Everything's Coming Up Roses from the musical Gypsies by Stephen Sondheim. <laughs>
Great job. Great job. Thank you so much. That was amazing. So now I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to you our director of bands, Mr. Herbert Jackson. Mr. Jackson is a product of Gwinnett County Public Schools, and he graduated with a Bachelor of Music in Music Education from Central University and a Master's in Music Education from Boston University. That's right. Mr. Jackson's affiliate organizations are Mu Phi Epsilon Professional Music Fraternity and Phi Beta Sigma, Sigma Fraternity, Inc. You may have seen Mr. Jackson very, very recently on Fox 5 News, having been nominated for Fox 5 Teacher of the Year. So thank you, Mr. Jackson. So unable to join us tonight is our percussion and guitar teacher, Mr. Andrew Bennett. Mr. Bennett has performed around the state in rock bands, jazz ensembles, orchestras, and theaters, and has taught private lessons, middle and high school percussion classes, clinics, and master classes. He'll be working closely with Mr. Jackson and in the Music Tech Conservatory. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. All right, so in our orchestra program, we have a team of Jenkins and Johnson. So we'd like to bring them out. Daniel Jenkins originally comes from Kansas City, Missouri, where he began studying violin at the age of seven. In his undergraduate years, he focused on violin and composition uh, at the UMKC Conservatory of Music and New York University. He also did postgraduate work in music education at Georgia, Georgia State University. And Noah Johnson has shared the stage with groups such as the Atlanta Symphony, Charleston Symphony, and the Tuscaloosa Symphony, in addition to performing with artists such as Robin Thicke, Migos, and Baby Rose on NPR's Tiny Desk series, among others. Noah can often be heard playing in pit orchestras for musicals at local theaters like Aurora Theater, City Springs Theater, and, Atlantic, and Atlanta Lyric Theater. At this time, Mr. Johnson is going to stay here and perform for you, so let's give it up for Noah Johnson. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to play a short piece from a Bach prelude written for a solo cello. It's the uh, Alemann from the first suite in G. Thank you. 
nice. Wow, that was really, really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for that. Okay, so now I'm really, really excited for you to meet this next team of theater and film. So if that team could come on out. Welcome, team. So first, we'd like to introduce you to Miss Lillian Gina Quinones. She holds a bachelor's, yes, go ahead and applaud. She holds a bachelor's degree in specializing in theater and arts administration and a master's in theater education from Columbus State University. She comes to the School of the Arts with 15 years of experience as a performer, teacher, and diversity practitioner. Ms. Quiones has been a part of the Susie Bass award-winning productions such as In the Heights at Aurora, at Aurora Theater and Titanic at Serenby Playhouse and continues to work professionally in theaters around the region. <laughs> Ms. Emily McLean. Ms. McLean is a professional playwright and a theater educator. She is a member of Working Title Playwrights and is a dramatist and the dramatist skills. Her play, Slaying Halfernings, I messed that one up too, was a co-winner of Essential Theater's New Play Festival and received a world premiere production in 2019. Her tragedy, Terminus Andronicus, was, the, was a finalist at the New American Shakespeare Center, Shakespeare's New Contemporaries in 2019. Mr. Michael Tarver has worked at theaters all over Atlanta doing just about everything, and that's pretty much what he does at Central right now. He's been an actor, director, stage manager, TD, carpenter, marketing lead, and producer. He is a graduate of the Aurora Apprentice Company, holds bachelor's degrees in theater and public relations from Georgia Southern University, as well as a master's of theater education from Columbus State University. He also built this piece that you see on stage here, the soda piece. We also have Miss Jessica McLaughlin. She attended NYU's Tisch, Tisch School of the Arts program for film and television. After finishing at NYU, she moved to Atlanta to join the booming film industry of the Southeast as a casting assistant. Jessica continues to work in the industry as a screenwriter and director but has worked in many different production departments in her career. These theater teachers are performers as well. So we have two performances for you. And first up will be Miss McLean. Hello everyone. My name is Emily McLean. And today I'll be doing Hamlet by William Shakespeare. <laughs> what a rogue and peasant slave am I. Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that by her working all his visage wand, tears in his eyes, and distraction in his aspect. <laughs> a broken voice, his whole function suiting the form of his conceit. All for nothing, <laughs> for Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him or he to Hecuba that he should weep for her? What would he do had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? Why, he would drown the stage in tears and cleave the general ear with hideous speech, make mad the guilty and appall the free, confound the ignorant and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. And yet I, a dull and muddy metal rascal, peak like John a dream, unpregnant to my cause, and say nothing, no. Not for a king, upon whose property and most dear life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain? Breaks my pain across. So 
wounds. I should take it. It cannot be, but I am pigeon-livered and lack gall to make this oppression bitter. Or ere I should have fattened all the region's kites with that slave's awful, bloody, body villain, remorseless, treacherous, lecherous villain, all vengeance! Oh, oh fie on it. About my brain. Oh. Oh, I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before my uncle. I'll observe his looks. If he but blanch, I'll know the course. The play is the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. Thank you. That was pretty amazing. All right, now we'll have uh, Lily and Gina will come out and sing for us. Welcome. Hi, everybody. I'm Lily and Gina, and I will be singing The Impossible Dream from Man of La Mancha. To dream the impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to bear with unbearable sorrow to run where the brave dare not go Unrightable wrong to love pure and chaste from afar to try when your arms are too weary to reach the unreachable star. This is my quest to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far to fight for the right without question or pause to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause and I know if I'll only be true to this glorious quest that my heart will be peaceful and calm when I'm laid to my rest and the for this that one man scorned and covered in scars still strove with his last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable Thank you. Wow, theater department, I'm pretty excited. All right, so now I want to, um, to bring two very other important people out here, because um, I think it's important that, you know, if we're, we're gonna be one school, one community, Black Knights, it's important that you know uh, everybody that's involved here. So we have um, our counselor, Miss Tiffany Brown, and student data manager, Miss Lori Tossing. So Tiffany Brown is a certified professional school counselor as well as a licensed professional counselor. She earned her BA in human development as well as an MA in professional counseling. She has been working in Gwinnett County Public Schools for 15 years and has, been, and has been the counselor for the fine arts students of Central Gwinnett since 2014. Lori Tossing has 16 years of experience as a student data manager for Gwinnett County Public Schools. 
Ms. Tossing is also an accomplished opera singer. Having received a master's degree in vocal performance at Arizona State University, she went on to participate in uh, the Janik Opera Company in Brevard, North Carolina. She has performed in dozens of productions with the Atlanta Opera, Capital City Opera, and Atlanta Concert Opera. So thank you, ladies. Okay, so before we bring out our last conservatory teacher and performance, there are some very important teachers back here that uh, make up the School of the Arts core teaching staff. So let's bring them out too. So in language arts, we have Ms. Kelsey Allen and Glenn Rhodes. And in science, are they back there? Just us, okay. All right, in science, we'll have Chelsea Belazare and Lauren Nichols. And in social studies, Jessica Ciavaro. And in math, Iva Ray and Stephanie Whitlock and Tapasio Cruz. So those teachers will teach your students their core classes. And they're very important to us currently. So thank you so much. All right, now, and last but not least, it's, it's our pleasure to, pleasure to bring out our last conservatory teacher in the music tech department and that's Mr. Mark Baldwin. Mark has been performing, producing, and educating for over 20 years. At UNCA, he received a Bachelor of Arts in Jazz Performance Composition. Since becoming an at alien, I appreciate that outcast reference there, uh, Mark has worked with influential companies like the Atlanta Hawks as the NBA's first live in-game band, Sony Records, the Atlanta Braves, and the Jazz at Lincoln Center. Mark's production company is Musical Minds, and that's Minds with a Z. And he has a multitude of song placements on several TV networks. So, for a special treat tonight, Mark has brought his band to play for you. So, Mark, whenever you're ready. Go so far. Uh, all right, so our first song tonight, we are going to play the Georgia National Anthem. Um, Georgia on my mind. Thank you. 
Thank you, guys. We're going to do one more quick one and kind of uh, lift your spirits up a little bit. This one's called um, Ain't It Funky Now, uh, originally by James Brown. But uh, we're going to do the Grant Green version, who is a big influence of mine on uh, jazz guitar. So, all right, here we go. Let's get funky. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, and the band there. I'm pretty excited about Music Tech, too, I have to say. Find my place again. Um, before I move on, I, I did want to recognize Mr. Bob Clark. I, I know that he's uh, got here a little late, but just wanted to take that opportunity to recognize you. But All right, teachers, if you'll come on out. And while they're coming out, um, I, don't, I, I want to remind parents and students of some important dates so don't forget about our summer intensive, and that is going to be July 12 through 16. So you'll have time to talk to your teachers and get to know everybody at that time. So in the meantime, you're going to follow us on Instagram at CG Soda to get updates and info. Again, that's at CG Soda. Most of you are probably already on there. So get, you get your registration documents in and be sure to pick up your pre-ordered merchandise in the back. All right. So now that we have all teachers out on stage, everybody wants to go and like take a bow. I think you should. So everybody, we, we are just getting started. This is the first time that we've had the opportunity to get together. This is the first time that we've had the opportunity to be together, together as a team. So we can't wait for to, to get to work with these teachers, and we can't wait to bring you even more adjunct, adjunct faculty and guest teachers and artists to provide you with everything you need to be successful. We plan to follow through with the vision of this school. So uh, thanks to the Central Gwinnett staff who came out to help today, and thank you to the City of Lawrenceville from the bottom of our hearts, seriously, thank you, City of Lawrenceville, for opening this space to us. <clears throat> and thank you uh, to the parents and students for coming out tonight and for being the very first class of the School of the Arts at Central Gwinnett High School. So we can't wait till it's your turn on stage and it won't be that long. So thank you everyone and good night. Thank you.